你生日快乐！这个有些失眠的人。前程似锦。谢谢谢谢谢谢。吹吧吹吧，许个愿吧，许个愿许个愿。那我今天生日的时候怎么办？不是现在许个愿望吗？那我现在许个愿，离开故土了。好，吹蜡烛。I need you to stand down there and think like the suspect. And I want you to think, where could I hide that nobody would ever find? We worked with the FBI to make this replica of the diary she kept. Here's the sentence in the last page and the last line. Life is too short to be ordinary. When people are looking back at this tape and they, they look and see you on the court, tell me something that st will stand out to somebody that's watching it. Um, a player that always want to get the teammates into the game first. And when it's time, like I said, at first, they're going to see me at the end shooting the ball. Okay. Folks who would see him regularly already regard him as one of the top five kids in Chicago. Let's take a look at our players of the game. We are going to go with Kizo Brown. Duke, Kansas, North Carolina would have been him. The Englewood area molded him into this tough, grimy kid with a great heart. He is a phenomenal basketball player. He could do it all. So imagine people expecting you to always do that. I will say there are often a lot of sharks in the water trying to jump onto the next star for their own interest, fame, fortune, whatever it might be. My son was on top and then he just went to the bottom. And a lot of people turned their backs on him. And he's fighting through it. He's fighting through it and he's not going to give up. He's a fighter. How you doing? How you doing? I'm doing good. What's the documentary about? 
Oh, uh, it's about me, because I've been through hell and back. What's the name again? Kizo Brown. Can you call Kizo with my baby? Yeah. He in high school, right? Yeah. He ready to go to college. Oh, uh, what, school, what school you going to? I can see how that picture look. Come on. Do you approve of it? Let me see. No, because I, got, I just okay, got done let me, eating let me, let me take a note. I just got done eating a uh, oh. honey bun. That's my trap. All right. Oh, yeah, that's good. Congratulations. Uh huh. Uh huh. Good luck to you. Um. The government is trying to erase my own home, my own story, my own history, my own background. You have a development plan that leaves no room for a poor. Is that really a development plan? everything you have nothing left they are government terrorists do you guys remember Syria at all yes what do you remember, no. Natash? I remember when I was going for kindergarten and first grade, and when we was going to our grandma and grandpa and grandma and grandpa's houses. What do you like about Chicago, and what do you not like about Chicago? I like to go to I the park. Good, Akram. It's dance. You need dance. We learn English with it. And we can make friends and know people. What is float? Float. Float. And the teacher is very good teacher. We're working with uh, Syrian refugee children who have only been in the country um, a few months to a year. And it's just been striking how much they've learned so fast. We're practicing to show, make like a show. Yes, yeah, yeah. together. Chasse, 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 slice, seize. I think I will be shy to perform it because I'm shy again. Superman not scared.
قصة الحب نحن تزوجنا وتعرفنا عن طريق عادات تقاليد اجتماعية عن طريق وسيط وشفتها لأول مرة ولهف لقلبي وحبينا بعض من النظرة الأولى النظرة الأولى الحب بيجا بعد الزواج وفورا خطبنا هاي صار لنا عشر سنة كنا عايشين مبسوطين في سوريا طبعا قبل الحرب كنا عايشين في دمشق كثير الحياة كانت بسيطة وحلوة فصارت الأحداث فصار مثلا يجينا قصف يجينا ضرب فالأولاد يخافوا كثير يعني شيء مرعب صوت صوت القصف بحد ذاته مرعب نحن يعني كنا نخاف كمان يعني حتى الكبار يعني كانوا يخافوا سوريا ما عاد فيها أمان مر فبدو يعمل جلسة اليوم للنقطة الرئيسية وبعدين جلسة ثانية للنقطة الثانية. Unfortunately, this is a disease that did start in his hand um, and did spread to other parts of the body. So it is very possible there may be microscopic stuff still there. طبعا راح تكون جلسة الراديشن كتير صعبة يعني الواحد راح يظل شوي قلق لأنه راح يظل تقريبا ساعة وربع تحت الجهاز بدون أي حركة. Despite all the stress of resettlement and of living in a new place and of having a life-threatening illness, everyone in the family has just remained completely positive. They uh, live life 100%. And Emily, with a lot of hope, I mean, I don't think or I don't know what I'm thinking. That he's sick, that he's afraid that he's going to be afraid of the future, that he's going to lose something. No, it's the opposite. I'm always Emily, that he's going to see it. And these thoughts, I don't think about them at all. Normally give them a bath of every night time. As soon as the water's running, he thinks bath time. And he'll start running, he'll want to wet his hands, um, he'll want to like splash the water. He really, really enjoys the water. You gonna show me what you got? God, no. God, no, why? I ain't got nothing to do with this, buddy. Yeah, I'm too old, right? All right. Here, catch. All right. My son was born in '97. He didn't start speaking until he was about five. Um, his first words were mama, and for me, that was the best thing God could ever give me. JJ is one of our biggest teachers in our household. Because uh, he's overcome a lot. 
but there's still a lot more barriers to go. Wanna play good? No. No? Our kids used to come and go play and back and forth. In the end, we're the ones who have to be with our children for the rest of our lives. And I know I am gonna to have to be with my son for the rest of his life. You know, I don't know how many more people are out there that their children are had, have had led and are dealing with the same issues. Uh, I don't know what the city of Chicago plans on doing, but I, they better do something quick because we cannot be the next Flint. They're as bad or worse than Flint. Flint doesn't compare uh, in terms of the numbers of lead lines. We've had 380,000 lead service lines for over 100 years in Chicago. The highest concentration of lead service lines or laterals of any city in the country. Chicago is the most gang-ridden city in America. The murder rate here is up 35%. You watch the news every time you turn around, somebody getting killed, somebody getting hurt. A murder rate of two a day. When is the violence going to stop? This is like Beirut was in the 70s. It's war. Right now, the community is separated. That's the problem right now. I know I'm going through the same cycle. I'm doing the same cycle what they did before. But one thing you have to do, you got to get out that circle. You have to look at that circle and see what's wrong with it. Then jump back in and fix it up to make it a better circle. <laughs> 